Hey guys, very good evening to all of you. Welcome to the video number 452. My name is Ajay Parmar and you are watching youtube.com slash c slash Ajay Kumar Parmar which is my channel and where you, where you will find 450 videos on Excel, Excel VBA, Access and Access VBA. In this video today, I am going to talk about the list box, ActiveX controls, right, because they are very important from the dashboard perspectives right many times you know people use the pivots they use the slicers and they make those interactive you know dashboards and they also use the charts you know and then in the charts they use the pie charts the column charts and then they you know uh, pull out the images from the google and they try to you know plug in those images around the charts to make you know to, to give it a very unique look right but i found one thing uh, which i always you know uh, uh, i wanted to share it with you uh, many of you uh, might not be even aware that we have some functionality some controls in the in the excel you know uh, where you don't have to uh, be a programmer and you can still make a very very good you know uh, dashboards right because you should actually go and use these activex controls i'm going to this video is uh, i'm uploading so that i can encourage you i can actually guide you and i can give you some insight on that right that these activex controls are very important recently uh, i started a series on that because we didn't have so many videos on this though we are crossing 450 we have crossed in fact 450 videos but i didn't talk much on the you know these activex controls so this idea came uh, came into my uh, came into my mind obviously because uh, one of you actually posted the comments that they were saying what is the difference between formx control and activex control so i am going to talk about the activex control here and then in the future we will be we will be talking about the form formx controls and we will be talking about the difference as well right so uh, now if you're watching the channel for the first time uh, you can start your learning you know these uh, from from this you pause the video and just have a snapshot of it or whatever you want to do you can write all these playlists this is how you should watch all these play playlist guys and using these playlists going in this sequence I, I i bet if you follow every video if you don't really fast forward or if you don't skip anything you know you will be pretty awesome in all these four subjects right now uh so where are you going to get that well you just need to click on the channel and this this is the playlist link so here you will find everything you will find all the playlist which i'm showing you right now okay so these are all the playlist so let's come back to the original topic so now we are here to talk about the uh the list box i'm gonna talk about the list box in my last video if you have seen that if you haven't seen that go and watch that i think that's the video number 450 or 451 um, but you you will find that video under the user forms right so user forms and activex controls so you just go there and check that out right we talked about how, how to create the combo boxes in this video i'm going to talk about how to create the list box and of course once you have you know your concept clear when you know that from where to create this how to create this how to make it you know how to give it a formatting how the list box is linked and from where it pulls the you know it uses the the data i think you will be then in the position uh, where i can go and you know advise you that now you should follow my videos which are going to tell you about the the making the da dashboard right i have already a series guys on the the art of making dashboard you can go and check that out the art of making dashboards but there i think we didn't talk much about these things maybe one of case you would see there um, you know uh, one or two videos which talks about the form controls but i think uh, we haven't talked much in detail about the these you know activex controls which which uh, for which you don't require any programming the first thing which you got to do is you go to the developer tab now if you are if you are a non programmer i know that you won't get to see this developer tab if you are using 2016 2013 or excel 2010 then you just need to go to the files and you need to click here on the options and once you once you click on the option make sure you should go in the customize ribbon and you get this activated okay this is the developer tab guys by default it remains off so you need to just check mark that and once you do that press ok and this is going to appear here now once this tab is coming what you need to do you need to click on the insert right i talked about this in my previous video also do you get to see here two things form controls and active controls active x controls and a lot of people they are confused at which one <laughs> is to use and what are the basically the differences so 
before we discuss about the difference i think let's take a deep dive into all these controls one by one right so the last video was dedicated on the form controls uh, these the activex controls um, and we talked about the combo box here today what we are going to do is we are going to talk about the active x control which is a list box okay so how first of all i'm going to tell you how to insert it click here the moment you click here this is how it looks like and i'm going to just drag it like this guys so this is my list box now in front of you right i click outside and that's how it looks like in the excel right so you can mention here anything you can ma mention here the years you can mention here company name you can mention here months you can mention whatever you want i don't know right but they are very beautiful they look very elegant and on the top of that you don't have to be a programmer now i'm not saying that if you can do this without programming you shouldn't be a programmer you should not watch my VBA videos. Don't do that. I have put in a lot of efforts, right? And my always aim is to make you pretty awesome in all these four subjects. And VBA is something, guys, you know, it just, I don't know how, how apt is it is going to be, uh, you know, it, it, it's going, how it is going to sound. Uh, but I think you can make Excel slave, you know, for you. Excel starts working for you. You can make Excel, you know, your slave. If you know the Excel VBA, just click the button and get the work done from the Excel and grab a cup of coffee. Come back after 5-10 minutes and I think Mapo will be finished by that time and you will have your outputs. So this video nowhere says that you should stop learning VBA. This is one of the elegant part of advanced Excel where you don't need the programming. Okay, So you can add the programming but without the programming also you can do a lot of stuff. So let's go ahead and let's first of all see that how we're going to get these values so what i'm going to do is i'm going to fill here uh, some you know uh, some let's say the items okay so let's say i write here tables i write here chair and then i write here marble okay and then i write here let's say milk and i write here liquid and then let's say solid you know sort of that stuff i can write it right so i write here let's say abc i write here um let's say bad badminton you know blah 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 what okay let's not get into that now this is how it is and now what i'm gonna do is i click here you click here please do click here okay so once you're gonna click here uh, what you need to do is you need to go to the properties of this when you click on the properties and you go to the alphabet uh, i think this wasn't selected let me select that now now it is selected you can see all these circles around this list box go to the alphabetic and here you need to see that list fill range now this is exactly you know the same we talked about in the combo box so this is a good thing you don't have to really do anything addition so i just go and write here let's say a1 to a20 i'm giving the enough space here okay so that in the future if somebody wants to add something by default it is going to take that value okay you can also i mean right here if, you, if you're not happy with that you can also increase the range that's all up to you and in the link cell you can link it with any cell for example b1 so whatever the list box we will select the value in the list box we will select as a user you will get to see that value in the b1 so that's how we use these both options right and you can see that it starts coming even right so now if i close this and i want to use it what you need to do is this is still in the you know editing mode so just make sure you should off this design mode so click back here and look at this design mode is gone and now you can actually use the scroll bar right so this scroll bar automatically comes if all the items are not going to fit in your this you know list box because i know that we have badminton and which is coming here the last one i can see that but what about the rest which are blank because i given the you know big range so that's why it created these scroll bars if i if i just go and you know click on the design mode and i now click back here and i go to the properties of this in the edit mode if i just let's say right here a1 to a10 and or maybe i can write let's say a1 to uh, a6 you can see that that scroll bar is removed automatically because now this is sufficient the height which you have given which you have allocated for this list box all the values can come easily here so that's why the scroll bar is not going to come so if you see the scroll bar that means there are a lot of values there right so you don't have to worry about it list box will take care of it right now i can do further you know one more thing as i talked to in my last 
video also you can change the four color four color means you can change the color of these you know the text so if I let's say I write here you can see that this is the color which you can choose right and then further you can go and find out here uh, you know the uh, uh, the basically to change the font of this so what you can do is uh, you can click on this font and you can change the font from here so what I will do is I will just going to make it an 8 and I'm going to use maybe this maybe this let's say Californian right or maybe Cambria I click OK and you see that this is changed guys right so I don't like this by the way this light blue color so I'm going to make it again back to you know this black okay so I mean this is just just how you can do that if you want to fill in the black color you can click here on the black color and you can try this you see that if this is going to be black then you have to make the four color as white otherwise you won't be able to see anything right so if I just go and make this sort of this this is how it looks like so I click back on the design mode I close this and now you can use this you can use this and if I have to select any value here obviously you see that I selected marbles and B1 shows me the marble if I select this liquid this comes as a liquid if I select this bat this shows as a bat now when we will be talking about the dashboards I will be showing you that how to use these B1 values so basically the row source comes from this table but why we use that you know if you remember here when I click on the design mode when I you know if I go let me show you this again let me click back here and make sure this should be selected when you're going to click on the properties okay so if you look at this link cell b1 this is what is the reason right now you may not be able to understand the reason why we are linking this but you know this value we can further go and pull out the records basis this value from the raw and we can make pretty awesome summary reports and the dashboards that's why we are connecting here so I'm telling you because we are trying to learn these things right so further you can I mean go and reduce the width and size of this list box and that's how you can you know get this fit in anywhere anywhere in your Excel and obviously guys there's no point of showing this to the user right you just hide them you can hide this as well obviously so I just hide this so that's how basically your list box looks like in your screen and of course then we can beautify it I mean you can we can remove the grid lines and a lot of lot of stuff you know we can do which I will be talking about right so that's that's how basically you create your list box you can see here this is going to work now if you if you can't use it because I'm trying to click here you know it takes me to the edit mode I, as I said make sure your design mode should be off now why I'm repeating all these things again and again guys because I know when you're going to learn this this the problem will come and then you will be feeling very frustrated and you will be you know you will definitely remember me but I know for the very awkward reasons <laughs> right so I don't want that it should happen so you just click here and make sure this should be off and now I can see that you can see that it's getting selected now user doesn't know that from where it is coming and he also uh, she doesn't know that uh, you know that behind this if I select this then somewhere this is getting selected now I'm not saying that this is a kind of a some security feature that user can't see that obviously somebody knows the Excel they will come to know you know they, they will go and they will check that right maybe you can protect the cells but I'm not here to talk about the protection or the you know security of this list box no that's not anyone goes any anyone if click on the design mode and click here and they can go in the property and they can change it they can see that that's not how it is right it's not for that purpose right so list style is also there guys you can uh, you, you see if I just change this that's how it looks like right so <laughs> we have a lot of options here right so if I just close this and I select this again it's gone and look at this now guys this is also the good option isn't it this is looking very nice right but in this case you make sure that the rest of the option box should not be visible so what you can do is you can create the range only you know the range which is specific which should not add the extra option boxes and as and when you have a changes in the data your data is modified you just go and you know click on the design mode and click here and just go to the properties and just change that range right now it is actually from a1 to a100 so if i'm just going to make it let's say a1 to a10 you see that that's how it's going to look like oops it, it's going really bizarre i don't know why it's showing me 
a1 to okay yeah it's a1 to a10 so I think one extra value is here so I'm just gonna make it a1 to a9 and I think now we are fine with that right so obviously you have to change the height of this 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 height basically uh, you know uh, it's not looking good because I, I got it actually 150% zoom so let me just undo it let me undo it yeah there we go so I just go and make this you know this one so basically the the list box which we have created here um, I, I I click here let me just uh, go and reduce the you know the width of this so I can simply pull this I think some shortcut key got pressed because of which the height is so it's really looking nasty so I just reduce the height as well let's go up and yeah that's it guys you know we don't need such a big list box obviously I'll keep it like this and this is your list box right so that's it I mean uh, so per personally speaking I don't really like the formatting I keep it very simple which means that if you go to the properties I never use these back colors right I just keep it simple you know most probably like this and of course um, these um, so I mean you have to um, see that which color basically suits it but by default you know it's, it's in, the, in the background you have a you know sort of the window this 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 color so the white color so I use that right and now I can click here I can click here I can click here and that's how you know you you will be able to find that you, you will be able to walk on these option boxes they this is not all I mean they look like option box but remember this is the functionality in the list box and this we got it from this design mode I click here and let me show you back so when you go to this uh, alphabetic here uh, this option list style option if I just go and want to make it simple plain that's how it looks like now the plane right so now I click back here it is unhighlighted and that's how the user actually is going to select that part right this is how it is so that's it from my side right now guys and um, thank you so much for watching thank you so much for your support and keep asking these wonderful questions and I will be catching up with you very soon with some another exciting stuff thank you so much for watching